How you doing guys? Let's talk about the Chris Reeve TI lock. Um, I love this knife, but I don't like this knife. This knife is not for me. Oh, hold on, that doesn't make any sense. Let me just say, if this knife was a frame lock, I feel personally this would be the best EDC knife Chris Reeve has ever made. Um, the profile of it is gorgeous in my eyes. Uh, it has a finger choil here. Feels really nice in your hand. Just melts in your hand. The finger choil, you can come all the way up here. It's very secure. Um, I like that it's, when it's closed, it's almost the same size as a small Sebenza. Right? Not much difference. But when you open it, even though it has a choil in it, they've kept most of the finger choil on the frame. So there's really not much difference as far as you didn't lose any cutting edge. Because you see how Chris Reeve kind of does this 45 degree angle cut on his blade so you can sharpen up the knife fairly easy. Right, so instead of that design, they went with a finger choil, which is nice really nice and it allows a lot of cutting edge so this knife closed is almost as the same size as a small Sebenza but you can see that the cutting edge is much much more in fact it's almost the same size not quite as the Sebenza 25 we'll try to get these guys close so you're not missing of course it's shorter but check out the difference in the the overall length you know so there's a lot of cutting edge just a long way of saying there's a lot of cutting edge in this little frame I say little that's subjective obviously um, but a small Sebenza frame has more cutting edge than the small Sebenza there you go um, carries really well I just don't like the interface of the lock so you know most of us if you guys are watching this video you're probably a knife nut you probably find yourself flipping your knives so much so that possibly your children or your significant other say what in the heck are you doing why are you doing that um, this knife is not fun to play with and now if you just carried a knife and just needed it when you needed it you put it in your pocket, you cut something when you need it, and you put it away, and you're not a hobbyist, you're not obsessive, compulsive, or OCD about flipping your knife and playing with it. This would be a great choice. Um, but for me, this is not a really fun knife to play with. It's addicting because you feel like you really want to like it. It's very well designed. It's very sturdy. I don't believe it's going to fail. There's no wiggle up and down. No side to side. In fact, the pivot here, I believe, is the same as it is on the new Omnum Zons and on the 25, right? Very strong. I mean, I would consider this a EDC type knife, but uh, it's more than adequate. So I hate to call it a gimmick. Like a gimmick is something cheap, something throwaway, something that you just do. I, you guys know what a gimmick is, you know, which I don't feel this is. This doesn't feel, it, it. there's certainly no cheapness in this knife. No corners were cut. Um, I just feel like if this knife was a frame lock, it'd be a complete home run. Uh, but with this TI lock here, and I know the whole knife, the name is TI lock. It's locked by this TI titanium lock bar here. It's really an ingenious design uh, through the collaboration of Grant and Gavin Hawk of Grant and Gavin Hawk Custom Knives and they've done a bunch of collaborations with uh, Kershaw and ZT um, it's a good design it is it's just not user friendly um, I suppose if I wasn't so used to my muscle memory with the frame lock you know would, would I enjoy this knife more probably if this is all I had uh, if I bought this knife as a gift for somebody who's not really a knife guy and you said, hey, carry this for the next year, two years, and then tell me what you think. They they would probably be in love with it. Because you can unlock it one-handed. 
I'll say that. You got to put your, I found the best way to do it one handed, put your pointer finger up here and your thumb will kick the stud up as your finger is putting pressure down. Now that's a lot to do all at once. You get used to it though. And I'm also not sure when you flick it open and close, you can't really flick this knife because of the design. You can see this spring bar gets tension. It's the detent. And because it rolls on the frame, there's more tension there. So it would actually spring. That's not like, let's see, I can make it jump back, right? Because that bar is coming out and it gets more tension in the same way when you close it. It's got a nice detent on it, though. It really snaps down like a bear trap. But the same when you open it, which means you can't really flick this knife because you see how it bounces back. You got to follow all the way around. Again, if this was your only knife, you would get very used to that and that wouldn't be a problem. But we know better, right? So it's, it's not a gimmick. Very well designed piece. Uh, the knife is uh, just not my can't say enough about that profile though and I love the design this knife is awesome to use just not fun to play with uh, the one thing that I really really did not like about this knife but it does have an easy fix is this pocket clip pocket clips should be made like this all of them always I love Chris Reeves pocket clip and these two points of retention here this clip is hard to get in your pocket look how this clip you can shove it onto your pocket, whatever. There's no lip here, so you kind of got to squeeze it. And it's not easy to squeeze. There's almost zero leverage back here to squeeze. You got to really squeeze it up to raise the clip. It gets down on there. Pinches, but surprisingly, it's, it's hard to pinch up. But it really doesn't pinch down that hard, right? So it really feels like it goes in your pocket hard, uh, but could almost fall out of your pocket. This holds to your pocket so much better. So that's it. Good thing, the easy fix, not the cheap fix, but an easy fix. Either take it off, put a small Sebenza filler tab on there, or put a small Sebenza clip on there. Get rid of this. This clip is terrible. I thought it'd be awesome. You know, when I first seen it, I was like, ah, oh, a spring clip. Genius, so it doesn't rip up your pocket. You know, you just pinch it when it's on, and then it clamps onto your pocket, just like a, a clip. But it... You know, it doesn't. It's terrible. Complete failure on that clip. Looks cool, though. You know, it kind of matches the theme of the knife, being a little bit different. My plea to Chris Reeve, if you watch this, please make this in a frame lock. I guarantee you'll sell more of them than you do in this funky TI configuration here. But, of course, what do I know? That's it, guys. Hope you have a good day. Um, the knife is great. If you're thinking about it, if you're thinking about a conversation piece, I would recommend it. If you're looking for something to carry and use every now and then, I would recommend it. Uh, so long as you don't mind paying the price tag. It's very well made. It's just not fun to play with. It's not user friendly. If you carried it and used it for a month straight, I might be making a different video here. I didn't. I carried it two weeks. Could not get used to it. And not that it's bad, not that it's not secure. It is. Just, it, it, it doesn't operate like what I'm used to. Probably what you're used to, too. The frame locks, the compression locks on the paramilitary, too. You know, and the clip. Clip is no good. Garbage. <laughs> Anyways, thanks a lot for checking out the video. Hopefully you guys have a good day. See ya.